Sometimes it feels like Europe has all the fun. For decades, there's been a plethora of subcompact hot hatchbacks terrorizing their narrow mountain roads. Sure, we have the V8 monsters, but there's just something so satisfying about taking an overboosted, lightweight little hatchback up a twisting mountain pass like in the Smoky Mountains. And it would appear that Ford agrees. Hot on the heels of their frenzied compact Focus ST comes this baby demon, the Fiesta ST. Powering the ST is Ford's 1.6 liter EcoBoost four cylinder engine that in this application is jacked up to 197 horsepower and 202 pound feet of torque. Sending all that power to the front wheels is a conventional six speed manual transmission and like its big brother Focus ST, this car utilizes an electronic front differential. More than just a hot hatchback, Ford has designed the Fiesta ST to be efficient as well with official fuel ratings of 26 miles per gallon city and 35 miles per gallon highway. However, I have a feeling most owners of this car will be well into the boost and a lot will achieve nothing close to these numbers. Pricing for the Fiesta ST begins at just over $21,000, but go a little crazy checking off option boxes and the Fiesta can easily approach $27,000. To be a proper hot hatchback, the Fiesta ST needs to look the part, so Ford has given it a new front grille, a new hood, and a new lower front splitter. And out back, there's a new spoiler, a new rear diffuser, and what Ford calls a fascia extension. All STs will ride on a choice of two different 17-inch wheel packages wearing low-profile 205-width summer tires. That combined with a 15mm lower ride height gives the ST a mean-looking stance. As subtle as all these vehicles may seem, it works together to create a vehicle that is recognizable as not your everyday Fiesta thanks to the added aggression. Inside the ST you'll find a few unique upgrades like the leather wrapped steering wheel, the leather wrapped shift knob, aluminum pedals and the ambient lighting found in the Fiesta Titanium. Upgrade to the Recaro seat package and you will get two-tone partial leather super supportive sculpted seats. Being rather slim, these seats fit me snug and may be an issue for those with other body types. The ST retains the usual 5 seat configuration even though space in the back is quite tight. Dominating the center stack is a 6.5 inch touchscreen featuring Ford's latest version of my Ford Touch. And aside from a push button start, the rest of the interior is very similar to the Fiesta Titanium, which means it's far more upscale than you would usually find in a subcompact vehicle. Don't let the size of the engine in the ST fool you. It makes a lot of power. The 1.6 liter turbocharged engine may make a little less power than the Hyundai Veloster Turbo, but there isn't a weight for it to come on like there is in that Hyundai. And when it comes to cornering, this car blows it out of the water. Ford has modified the steering in the Fiesta ST to be more direct and more communicative to the driver, and it really works. And much like its bigger brother, the Focus ST, all road information is transmitted to your hands quickly. The rear suspension on this car has been stiffened up and you can really feel it in the corners. Now to help you negotiate the bends, this car, like the Focus ST, will break each wheel independently to help rotate around a little bit quicker. Now the downside to the stiff suspension is a harsh ride. It will actually rattle your teeth over bigger bumps. Like most high performance Fords lately, this vehicle has a sound composer which will pipe engine noise through the firewall directly into the cabin. I think the sound in this vehicle is actually louder than in the Focus ST and it's quite pleasing. The Fiesta ST's two main competitors are the Mini Cooper S and the Chevy Sonic RS. But with only 138 horsepower, it's hard to consider the Sonic RS a hot hatch and the Mini Cooper is far more expensive and more premium than the Fiesta ST. That leaves this rambunctious little hatchback in a market all its own providing good value and a ton of fun. The Fiesta ST does live up to the hype, a theme that seems to be happening with Ford sporty products lately. In fact, I prefer this vehicle over the larger Focus ST due to its lighter weight and cheaper price. 
If the rest of the hot hatches in Europe are as good as the Fiesta ST, bring those little fire breathers over. We want them. For more on this review and others like it, visit autoguide.com.